to when we were in lockdown because you know we had so much time didn't we <laughs> I also watched a lot of Netflix and um, wrote some songs about that too, which I'll tell you about a bit later. But this next one is from my brand new album. It's, we've never played this before. <laughs> Wish us luck. <laughs> it's called Fire the Fire.
that day Oh, where are you now? Do you ever think about
You're so lovely. My new album is called State of Mind. This is the title track. Oh, it's so good to sing these songs live the first time. It's so good. And Josiah here to my right produced my whole album. He plays every instrument. It's really annoying, you know, it's one of those really talented people. <laughs> um, but I've been traveling back and forth to Nashville for a few years. Um, because I'm, I'm actually from a place called Aberdeer in South Wales. Anyone know South Wales? Yeah. Just two people, yeah. I'm from a little village in um, South Wales Valleys. Um, and yeah, I, I was always, you know, intrigued by Nashville and I went there and I wrote, kind of went there every year over the last six years, trying to write songs and, and meet people. But um, I think I decided I could sit in my room and write a song just as well as I could fly to Nashville and write a song with the best songwriter ever. Um, I think I discovered in lockdown I could actually be anywhere. I just have to be in the right state of mind to write a good song. <laughs> but anyway, there's a story. Um, I wanted to write a song about my hometown. So I was in Nashville with these two amazing singer-songwriters. They're called the Whiskey Walls of the West, two guys. And they were lovely and they said, well, we should write about your hometown. What's it called? And I was like, it's called Aberdeer. But we can't put that in a song. So anyway, we started Googling where I live and I was telling them about my mum and dad and the story of where I grew up and all this stuff. And yeah, I put the word Aberdeer in a country song. <laughs> um, I was gonna call it Aberdeer, but then I thought, I won't do that. It's called Take Me Back Home. And um, yeah, I guess I put Aberdeer on the map. And the Welsh is in the house. The Elfin Bow. <laughs> so yeah, this is this is a song for my mum and dad really. They're not here. <laughs> They're in Wales. But yeah, this is about them and where I grew up and my heart I guess.
Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Having a good time. <laughs> I'm having a good time. Wow, it's so good. Um, this is our last song of the first set, but we'll be coming back in a little bit. And I'm going to attempt to sing some blues later and improvise a song for you. How do you feel about that? <laughs> I'm going to take a subject, take, take a name, and then we're going to sing some blues. Because you can sing blues about anything, right? Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Um, I'm going to leave you with this. I released a single um, last year. I co-wrote this with Josiah. This one's called Good at Getting Over You.
So a couple of years ago, um, I tried to give up coffee. I like coffee a lot. And um, I tried really hard to give it up, and then I got so sad. <laughs> so sad about it that I actually had the pause. Because I missed actually going to the coffee shop. I missed the whole, you know, the whole routine. Um, <laughs> and I wrote a blues song. And every time I sing this song, people think it's about like, the life of my life. But it's not. It's about that time I gave up coffee for a week. This is called the early morning blues.
okay. <laughs> I'm going to try and mix up some blues about gold. You ready? I don't think gold blues and sheep blues is going to make it onto the next one. But never say never. <laughs> um, this next one is about... Uh, I broke up with someone once. That was really hard to do because I'd never broken up with someone before. And um, I had to do it. It was pretty hard. And this next track is off the new album. This one's called Let You Down Easy. <laughs> Cause we 
for lyrics and um, I got in the room with this lovely amazing lady Jen and she played the piano and we wrote this song in about half an hour. It's on my last EP, um, it's a bit of a tea joker isn't it? <laughs> One of my favourites, this is called Mess of Me. <laughs> I can't believe the mess you made me 
is about a girl on the run. This one's called Gone. Close, hold them out to dry. 
much. You're all so lovely. This is such a lovely show. It's so nice to have people listen. Thank you so much for coming to see me and buying my merch. And um, the brand new album is available for pre-order right now, but I will have a hard copy um, in about a couple of months. So maybe if you come and see me again, I'll have my State of Mind album. And yeah, we're, we're continuing the tour next week. Um, we're doing Birmingham Blackpool and we end in London at the Grace on May the 1st. So, um, and hopefully I'll tour again. So maybe I'll be back, maybe later yeah. in the year. Yeah. <laughs> With my album that I'm singing to you right now. And um, we, we just released a brand new single off the album, and it's called I'm Alright. Um, and it's out in the world right now. And when we released it two weeks ago, I don't know if anyone is aware of Spotify. Do you know what Spotify is? There's a really cool playlist, and um, it's called New Blue. And they put loads of cool people on there, like Larkin Poe and all that stuff. And um, obviously, I'm an independent artist. I don't have a record label. I just write songs. Josiah produces them. You know, this is like just me doing it on my own really and they put me on the face they made me the face of the new blue playlist on spotify last week <laughs> and i fell out of bed and screamed and my boyfriend thought something bad had happened and then i had to explain that i'm the face of the new blue playlist so we're really proud of this song so um i don't know if you want to clap your hands and dance or whatever but this is gonna get you going this is called i'm all right you can clap on
for singing along. Uh, this next, this next one we're going to do um, is actually the last track on my album. And when I, we first wrote it, I don't know if I liked it that much. I don't know why, but um, it was kind of I wrote it as a little pep talk to myself because I guess being in the music industry is really hard, and you know you get loads of doors closed on you. And I think you just have to like live in the moment and enjoy where you are right now, right? Yeah. 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 And um, so yeah, this is quite poignant for me really, and it's the last song of the album, and I think it just kind of represents how I feel right now. This one's called Free. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you for screaming there. My first single about two years ago was a song called Drag Me Back In. I'm going to do that for you tonight. <laughs> 